So <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Uh, so some of you have heard about the woman who attacked the 14-year-old son of Keon Harold, the jazz trumpet musician, Grammy-nominated, so on and so forth. And him and his 14-year-old son are at a hotel in Soho. And Soho Sandy decides that the person who stole her phone has to be this 14-year-old boy who just came downstairs with his father. And, okay, I got we got to watch this. I'm gonna, I, so I watched it once, but I want to react with you guys and just have a, it's, it's a, this is from CBS, CBS this morning. They, they were able to speak with this woman. I'm not going to say her name. They say her name, but I don't want to give her name credit because she's Soho Sandy to me. That's all she is. She is a, a character of her own making as much as she does not seem to understand that. So I'm going to play this clip. Hopefully you guys can hear the sound. I think you should be able to. The woman caught on camera physically attacking a black teenager and falsely accusing him of stealing her cell phone has been arrested in California. It happened last night. You might remember this video. Mia Ponsetto approached 14-year-old Keon Harold Jr. at a New York City hotel last month accusing him of stealing her phone. His father, jazz musician Keon Harold, recorded the encounter and accused Ponsetto of racial profiling. We have your, what you, you, see, you see two black people. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. Now, the video shows Ponsetto trying to stop the teenager from leaving the hotel lobby and then rushing toward them. Hotel surveillance video shows the 22 year old woman tackling Keon Jr. Now, he never had the phone. It turned up several minutes later at the hotel. Y'all, I just want, hold New York on. City detectives went. Look, she is, she is tackling. Okay, and most of you know me. No, I like 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 I stick straight to the like, like let's stick to the facts. An adult is trying to tackle a fourteen-year-old. Now, devil's advocate, it looks like they are about the same size. So some would say, "Oh, well." You know, they're about the same size. It's not like it was like this domineering adult. But I'd like to point out that a 14-year-old shouldn't have to face an adult woman or adult, period. Ignore the fact that this person, their, their gender, this person, this human being is attacking this other human being. This first human being is 22-year-old. They are an adult they have grown up in the society that has told them at a certain age, you are legally recognized as an adult. And as an adult, you have a responsibility to act a certain way. Now, a 14-year-old who is a youth, a teenager who is still learning and developing and understanding the world, is being attacked by an adult who has been taught and raised in the society. Let's, and let's, this person, this 22 year old is old enough to own an iPhone and in some way I, I assume either pay for it themselves or pay the bills. Let's say they can't though. They have the responsibility and the well, the, the, the know with all to have what I would say is an expensive item and care for this expensive item. At least it would appear that they did. As we find out afterwards, they lost this item. But the idea is that at 22, this human, this adult, and their responsibility and their ability to understand responsibility took it upon themselves to physically assault a 14-year-old with no proof that the 14-year-old had done anything to them, just the thought that the 14-year-old may have taken their property. And the 14-year-old, who's with his father, 
Now, because we are trained, if you guys have watched my podcast, Not a Journalist, I did an episode with rapper, producer. I mean, he does a lot of things. Seek knowledge. And in that conversation, him and I touched on so many things about being a person of color and the things we do to put other people at ease. And even in this video, Keon's son is offering to show his phone because we have been conditioned to try and just solve the issue even though he had no reason to have to answer to this person the 14 year old a person of color did not owe this adult his time this adult is not an elder in his community who is trying to teach him or help him this adult was accusing him and then assaulted him because they are what appears to be an irresponsible person who acts violent and aggressive when they don't get their way and that is insane to me I'm going to continue playing the video. To California yesterday to coordinate Ponceto's arrest in connection with the confrontation. She was contacted at a traffic stop in Ventura County near Los Angeles. Officials say that police had to pull her out of the car when she refused to get out. Now, in an exclusive interview, we had just done that interview yesterday afternoon. Her lawyer spoke with us before she was arrested. They told us that NYPD had not yet contacted them. Mia, help me understand, what made you think that Keon had your phone? That's why I'm confused. Why did you think he had it? I was approaching the, the people that had been exiting the hotel because in my mind, anybody exiting is probably the one that might be the one that is trying to steal my phone. I Again, I... I, I actively do my best to try and play devil's advocate so i tried when i heard that explanation the first time to put myself in the shoes of a 22 year old and the person goes on to explain later that they felt that they were in a position where the one thing that connects them to everyone is about to be taken or might or is lost i should say not about to be taken. They did not know that anyone had it. It's about to be taken in their mind. But it's actually lost. But that thing connects them to everyone. It's the excuse that they give. And hold on. I just want to. Maybe I can find it. I just. Your family during the holidays. Yes, this is exactly New it. New this... York. And the video. The... Do my part as best as I could. You just described yourself as super sweet. I know you've seen the video. When you look at the video, the reaction seems very extreme. It doesn't seem like it's someone who's super sweet. How would you feel if you were alone in New York and you know, you're know you going to spend time with your family during the holidays and you lose the one thing that gets stolen from you that has all of the access to the only way that you're able to get back home? I just don't think I would randomly attack people is, is what I'm saying to you. I know you said you could have handled it better, but I just don't think I would randomly attack people in the manner in which you did. Yes. What do you think when you look at that video? Yeah. You're standing there in your leg. Yes. I would like to point out that what Gail is describing is using just basic logic. Just, just straight up normal way of thinking that even in a dire situation as an adult, I'm by myself. And I've done this, actually. I went to Australia by myself. I'm from Montreal. When I got there, my luggage was lost. I did not have a phone. I had to go buy one. I had my personal phone, which at one point I did misplace, but was able to find. In the time that it was misplaced, did I panic? Yes. Yes. 
did I start to assault people in the space I was in under the assumption that they may have taken my property? No. It makes absolutely no sense to do that. If anything, I'm putting myself in more danger by randomly assaulting people. According to this person, Keon and his son were not the only people that they confronted. I don't know who else, but if they were assaulting other people, this person sounds completely confused about how the society is supposed to work. And I'm, I'm, I, I, the person they've been arrested. They're going to face charges. People are saying they don't know what charges. I would imagine assault of a minor. Seems pretty basic to me. You assaulted a minor. Keon's son is 14. He had he had done nothing wrong. Again, he was he, we are conditioned to react and try and just placate everyone. So in the original video, you see that he offers to show his phone. His father rightfully tells him you do not owe this these people your time you do not have to prove anything to them we have done nothing wrong this accusation is baseless and we we should not have to show them any proof only because this person is yelling and screaming and that's it i'm going to get to the, the this last little part that i thought was quite entertaining um it's going to be probably one of the most memorable parts of 2021 and it's only been a couple days. Text to your actions that day. Okay, so basically, I'm I'm a 22 year old girl, girl accusing. I don't care. Where is the context in that? <laughs> Mia, what is the Mia. Deeper, what is the here deeper, we go. What is the deeper Mia, story Mia, it's here? not. It, it, that's not the problem. You have to at least understand your actions that day. You seem to have attacked this little boy, this young boy, this this teenager. You seem to have attacked this teenager about the phone, and then it turned out. He didn't even have your phone. That's the thing. I mean, you're 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 saying, look, I'm 22 years old. You're 22 years old, but you are old enough to know better. So I mm -hmm. will say, you're 22. I, right, get, I get it. Enough. The hotel enough. did have my phone. Yeah. The hotel did end up having my phone. Bong. When your lawyer has to say stop, <laughs> you're done. I don't have much else. I wanted. I was trying to keep this short, but I I really I needed to say certain things, and I felt like. If I don't say them, I'm going to there. I literally just saw this video and it started eating away at me the things I wanted to say. So I, I felt like, OK, I'm going to come on and say it. Gail, you are a saint for being able to handle these types of situations. And to anyone who's watched to the end, thank you. And that's it.